Uh, you want know, to talk about uh, diverse styles here? Or maybe not so diverse as it may seem on the surface. Filthy Tom Lawler. UFC and mixed martial arts standout. Starting with a handshake against Simon Grimm. The former Simon Gotch, the Vaughn villain. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to see uh, how the present day MMA catch wrestling and ground style may match up with Simon Grimm's influences, which would be more turn of the century. That would be the 20th century. He can call himself Gotch for nothing, folks. Frank Gotch, George Agenschmidt, Farmer Burns, Jim Londis. All these stars of the day, Strangler Lewis. Simon Grimm has emulated them. Simon Grimm has studied them. That's not all he can do. Make no mistake about that, but certainly was a big part of the Vaudeville offense brought them tag team success in NXT and WWE. Go behind takedown by Grimm. Switched by Lawler, who is 10 6 and 1 in MMA. Still under UFC contract, serving a suspension now. But uh, always had a love and a passion for professional wrestling and couldn't wait to step in the ring against so much uh, diverse competition. This time, Simon Grimm has met Tom Lawler, to my knowledge. Grimm trying to trap the body of Lawler, pin him down to a, in, in the shoulders in a pinning combination. Lawler, those great veteran instincts, not necessarily from pro wrestling, but just from, from grappling, from fighting, gets the shoulders up the mat, and then, well, leg break fine, into a heel hook. And Grimm could sense maybe impending doom a submission. He gets to the outside, he's just happy. All his limbs are still attached to it. Grimm, uh, that did not go the way he wanted. Taking a second to regroup, make sure that knee is still in working order. Make sure the, uh, the kneecap is in place and he can still bend it properly. Yeah, that's the danger, that's the respect these athletes have for Lawler and it shows the damage he can do. That uh, even just a few seconds in that hook, that knee bar. Uh, Grimm was fearing the worst. Seen Lawler in his career share the ring with men like the prestige champion Davey Richards, Kyle O'Reilly, Dan Severn, Matt Riddle. A couple of MMA backgrounds and a couple of individuals who've trained heavily with MMA. Not sure if Grimm's background has any MMA into it, but man, he's holding his own. Defensive position now, body scissors. Try to trap Lawler, but Lawler to a vertical base. Attempting those, uh, those inner thigh kicks, now traps the leg on top. Grim rolls through, Grim the Chancery. And this is great wrestling and counter wrestling. As Lawler now rolls through the attempt at a rear naked choke, Grim is trying to block it. And you gotta wonder if MV Young is watching this matchup somewhere because I know. Know what I know about Tom Lawler. He has not forgotten what anything MV Young has said or done about him. And uh, there will be a day, you gotta believe, where these men do battle. Hold up. MV Young successful under dubious circumstances. We have not seen any dubious circumstances from Lawler thus far. I'll tell you that. As Grimm now tries to mount Lawler. Lawler almost looks uh, frustrated or offended. But Grimm got the upper hand of Lawler, who was the well-known UFC stalwart, Ultimate Fighter Season 8, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu master, as Grimm takes a shot, opens this matchup up for the first time, and Lawler's pissed off now. Lawler, a takedown on Mount, and just right and left, ground and pound. This may be a stoppage. Grimm is just trying to, to defend himself, to cover himself up any chance he can get any way that he can. Nightmare by Lawler and overhead to the next map. Shades of Kurt Henning there. Nicely done. Oh, low close on that was all impact. Two count only there. Lawler, the Fall River, Massachusetts native. 
is down to business now. You don't want to mess with Lawler, a three-time national champion, 03, 04, and 05, for the University of Central Florida, wrestling under the 235-pound weight class. As now Grimm sent in, and he's not going to learn that name for wrestling. That elevator forearm strike certainly connects, does it? Jump! Oh, Grimm just caught. Grimm just caught Lawler out of nowhere. Trapped the arm and the body roll through to attempt at a cross arm breaker. Lawler is grasping his hands together to try to escape, to try to counter. Keep that elbow from hyper extending the shoulder from separating. Both men do a vertical base. It's Grimm who connects again and now back to the insecurity in the back of the head. This is an incredible contest. And Grimm taking time to show off. First time we've had a moment to breathe in this match, Jeff, honestly. But again, that was barely a count on one, and I think Lawler's kicking out quick to intimidate, to maybe psych out his opponents to tell them. Y'all, that offense is great, but I got a lot of gas left in my tank. I got a lot of fight left in me. And see how tightly the left leg of Grimm is wrapped around underneath the chin of Lawler, a scissor stomp as well. Lawler is reeling right now. Knee between the eyes as well. This is certainly a matter of respect now for both these athletes. Neither one wants to be shown up. They have brought their A game this first time matchup. Some fans have heard of it as a super fight. Hey, all the big UFC dream matches back in the day, they were called super fights. I think it's fitting. Two count off the overhead suplex. And Graham back to attempting the cross arm break. Or at least a variation of it. Has that wrist hook and using his feet to press away from the body of Lawler, creating distance between Lawler's arm and his own body. This allows a potential to hyperextend that elbow. You can see the awkward angle in the bend that elbow is in. Lawler trying to get back into a uh, bit of a defensive stance, but now Grimm stays on top. physical shot once again and is neutralizing the left arm Grimm has created a weakness created an opening Lawler cannot defend himself from the left side with the damage done to that arm and shoulder and Grimm only making it worse but can you imagine Lawler who in his first ever amateur fight won by knockout in under a minute could you imagine Lawler tapping out to Simon Grimm, especially in this style of matchup. That would make headlines across this wrestling world. Lawler kicking at the face of Grimm to break the grasp. It's Grimm right back with me. Lawler with those body shots, trying to create some distance. Oh! A cut. Grimm from behind, roundhouse swing, may have knocked Grimm and Luffy right in the top of the head of connected. We are deep into this contest. And still so evenly matched. And still, these shots are ringed up. They build a good grief. These men are rocking each other. Jeremy really suplex nicely done. Through this plane on the back of his head. Will this be all? Two and no. And notice Lawler was unable to use the left arm to help him cinch Grimm into that fall. If Lawler had the faculties 
on both arms of all of his appendages, this matchup could have been over. Firing away the knee strike. Grim is dazed, Lawler is dragging Grim to the center. Smart ring presence, near fall. Lawler knows he has to end this matchup soon. Well, she may not be long for this world. Oh, look at this. Got that knee bar in again, that heel hook, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what part of the leg he's zeroing in on specifically, but I do know Grimm is in a ton of pain. You saw the effect this had on Grimm just for a few seconds at the outset of the contest, but Grimm rolls forward. Try to trap the shoulders, now roll it through. Oh, down to a seated senton. The full Nelson bomb, whatever you want to call it. Into the rear naked choke and Lawler's fading. Will Grimm choke out Tom Lawler? Well, you can sense Lawler's getting weaker. But Grimm lost the body scissors. Lawler to a vertical base. Alleviates some of that pressure. And that, oh no. Oh. Trap pump handle suplex by Simon Grimm. Into the cover, hooks the leg, got him here, no. And he can sense the frustration, the anger on the face of Grimm as he looks to finish off his opposition. And those uh, strikes speak for themselves. Is this it? No. Grimm may be going for where the choke out didn't work. He may be attempting a knockout. And Lawler is in a bad way. Can barely move his left arm. Trouble breathing. A ton of pain. And now Grimm the fireman's carry. Lawler almost free. Foot is up. Sunset flew by Lawler, trapped the shoulders. Lawler near fall. Grim reverses. Lawler back on top. What, look at this. Three to the pile driver. Grim is dropped. Face first. Turn Lawler survives. Man, it's been a while since I've called a matchup that physical. It's been a while since I've called a matchup with such a strong ground game, with such a, a great, well-rounded style that everybody brought to the table. Lawler and Grimm were neck and neck. They were one and one A. The race of this contest, as you were going to ask me a couple of minutes ago, I would have said Grimm, without a doubt, looked like he was the one that was going to walk away with this thing. But you see firsthand why Tom Lawler has the MMA record that he does, the amateur record that he does. Tom Lawler found a way. He's having a lot of trouble with that left arm, but it's great to see the respect.